little bit just right now, and I'm just uh, re-recording this video because when I first did this video, the audio was very terrible. Terrible. So that's why I'm remaking this video again for those who are wondering. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that about UPF's belief in only one gift of God, and that is being a Bible teacher. In UBF, they believe that there's only one gift from God, and that only through UBF, more specifically through your shepherd or your missionary, can come to this epiphany, this realization, this discovery of this, that you have this gift. And they insist that every single person, particularly those in UBF, have the same gift of God, which is being about a teacher who specifically teaches about UBF theology, dogma, and doctrine, which is, this is false. And this is not biblical law. God has given to each their own a gift. Those who pursue him faithfully, those who pursue the Lord Christ faithfully. Not everybody has the same gift, the same vocation. God has made each of us unique. And there are there are a handful of verses that refute that, which I'll put in the description below. And to add on what I'm just to add on what I'm saying is to add on what I just said before is sorry, I had a brain fart. They believe that the shoot that the sh of shepherd, your Bible teacher, knows that fact, which is not a fact more than God himself, which doesn't, that itself, which makes no sense, because no one knows us better, better inside out than God himself. So how can another human being who had, who doesn't really know you, let alone knows about your relationship with God, who doesn't, who's never even live with you know about your relationship with God and what kind of person you are that makes no sense and you come to really think about it a relationship with God it's just really you and God in the end there's no middle man so because in UBF you need to the belief for the is that you need to have a Bible teacher a shepherd which which technically acts like a third person, a middle man, in the relationship. And if you have some third person in the a middle man in a, any kind of relationship, it's not personal. See what I'm saying? So logically, that would not make any sense. And biblically, there's some verses that refute the idea of the U.S. idea of that everybody has the same gift of the announcement, and that's false at all. To make matters worse, you have insist in, excuse me, in worst case scenarios, they call, they, they peer pressure and pull horse and shove it down a sheep's, a call sheep's down throat. They shove it down a call sheep's throat. You know, Maybe if they're called sheep, but, but the same thing. Now, some EBF um, members are more obvious when they do that. Some are more, I guess, subtle about it. But they still insist that, you know, we all, God gave us all the same gift. That, the, that Christ gave us the same gift. No. God did not give us all the same gift. He did give us all the same command, which is to love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. The command was the same. But as far as the gifts of God, that's not 
not everybody has the same gift. The, um, Christ gave every, every those who believe in him to use their own a gift. A gift that he wanted to give to them. There are several other gifts of God besides the law teacher. Right? Those speak tongues. Some of the teachers. Some who are musicians, some who are poetic. Etc. In the end of the day, Jesus Christ wants you, the Lord, the Lord Christ wants to, desires for you to share about who Christ is, his love, his death and resurrection. But come to, you need to come to realize that you don't need to be a Bible teacher to do that. It should just be free. It should be by the direction of the Holy Spirit. It should be free spirit. It should not be forced. You should not have to feel pressured in doing that. It should not be a chore. It should not feel like a standard or something just to record on a mission report. I'll talk about mission reports in a different video and what they are. But something that you enjoy out of your heart and not that you and not not something that you're pressured to do and UBF they believe that if you don't exercise this gift of God that you're rebelling against God which is not true at all It's not that the sheep is, is trying to rebel against God, but maybe rather the opposite. Maybe Lord Christ is showing them that, you know, that God's gift for them is not to be a Bible teacher, it's to be some, it's, it's, it's to be gifted for something else. Right. So, this, so something to think about, something to really deconstruct your misconception about a parent's member. So if you're a current member watching this, check out the Bible verses down below, and they're the NIV version by the way. And see if they can refute refute that with undisputed evidence that there's only one gift in God. In that having a middleman does not make a relationship to God less personal. That's gonna be very difficult. Probably even impossible to do. So yes, yeah, so that's what UBF believes in, and they don't tell they don't tell you this up front, especially like when you're being fish. Now, I'll put a video on what fishing is in the description below. Well, so we have to understand is that the fact just believing in Christ, having faith in Christ, and you. Christ is not bizarre. What's bizarre is how you give exercise it, how they apply that their faith. How they serve Christ is bizarre. So I'm I am confess I'm no Bible scholar or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure no, I am sure that pretty much ninety nine percent of what they do is not biblical. Well, even ethical. Right? That's 
right there. Just a system that you have only one gift for God. That itself is, by definition, spiritual abuse. I'll put a link in the description below what spiritual abuse is. Actually, we'll talk more detail about what spiritual abuse is. And that's pretty much it for this video. So, until next time. Sir Nava signing off.